Hello, my name is Donna DeRosa and welcome to my channel. You've probably been hearing a lot about the Mediterranean diet. It's all the rage right now, but I want you to know it's not a fad. It's actually a very healthy way of living. So if you're interested in the Mediterranean diet, I suggest you hit that subscribe button right now because my channel is full of recipes and meal plans and all kinds of information about the Mediterranean diet. Today, I'm going to share with you nine easy ways that you can get started on the Mediterranean diet. So let's go. Number one, eat green leafy vegetables. Try adding green leafy vegetables to your diet, such as spinach, chard, escarole, watercress, turnip greens, dandelion greens, instead of higher calorie vegetables like peas and corn. All vegetables are good for you, but if you're trying to lose weight on the Mediterranean diet, it's best to go with low calorie vegetables that are packed with nutrition. Number two, replace butter with olive oil. That doesn't mean you can never eat butter, but try making healthier choices when you're cooking. I buy two kinds of olive oil. I buy regular and extra virgin olive oil. I use the regular when I'm cooking and I use the extra virgin olive oil for things like salad dressings or for drizzling on top of things or maybe even dipping bread into. Try drizzling extra virgin olive oil on top of your eggs or on bread instead of butter. Number three, eat in courses. Don't put everything on your plate at once. Try spacing out your courses so that you take your time while dining. This allows you time to savor your food. And when you take time eating, we generally eat less because our brain has time to catch up with what our stomach is doing. Number four, keep portions smaller. Limit pasta and meat courses to a few ounces. Try filling your plate instead with mostly vegetables and then a smaller portion of pasta and meat. Try eating just a little less than you normally do and I bet you won't even miss it. Number five, limit red meat. Opt for poultry in moderation. Red meat should be eaten occasionally and only in small portions. On the Mediterranean diet pyramid, red meat is only consumed a few times a month. Number six, eat in color. Try vegetables in various colors, red, yellow, orange, purple, green. Each color has different nutrients that your body needs. Number seven, have a glass of red wine, not a bottle of red wine. <laughs> While Italians may consume wine often, they don't drink large quantities of it. Try having a little bit of wine with your dinner. This is easily accomplished if you invite friends over and you share a bottle amongst the whole group. Number eight, eat fish. Try fish at least twice a week. Tuna, salmon, mackerel, trout, swordfish, not breaded and fried, but prepared simply and baked in the oven. Seafood like shrimp, clams, mussels, and other shellfish should be taken in moderation. Number nine, eat salad for dessert. Try ending your meal with salad. When I was growing up, we always had a salad bowl on the dinner table, and at the end of the meal, we passed it around and each of us got a little bit, and it kind of put an ending to the meal. So now when I eat dinner, I crave a little bit of salad instead of a sweetie. If you really want to eat a sweetie, try a piece of fruit, or maybe perhaps a piece of cheese, instead of trying something like gelato and cakes. They're great once in a while, but not every day. A Mediterranean diet isn't a starvation diet that excludes food. Nothing is excluded because everything is taken in moderation. I like to call it a lifestyle of moderate indulgences. Just try to eat smaller portions and as naturally as possible. I hope you try some or all of my suggestions on how to get started with the Mediterranean diet. If you want to learn more, subscribe to my channel. I post Mediterranean-inspired recipes often. Thank you for watching. Bye.